See, a lot of you correlate the feeling of butterflies in your stomach to happiness and love even. What I'm gonna try to do in this video is try to give you a different perspective and a scientific explanation as to why the butterfly effect happens. In hindsight, it might feel awesome and it might be the rush that you're looking for, but it's your body really trying to tell you, I'm worried, I feel like something might be up. Instantly thinking that there are only positive, only positive reasons behind butterflies that we get could potentially waste your time, put you in a situation that you really would rather not be in with someone your body felt like you shouldn't be dealing with in the first place. Let's go over the butterflies. How do they feel to you when you feel them? You feel your heart beating faster, maybe even racing. You start to breathe faster. You might notice that you're sweating and you worry that someone else could be smelling that sweat. You feel a rush of adrenaline in your body. You can't think straight. Some people feel sick to the stomach or like they get nauseous. Look at when you might get them. You sometimes feel it before a major interview, before you go on stage to talk in front of a large audience. Audience. We get it before we present our pitch. We even feel it on roller coasters. What do these situations have in common? Your body feels uncomfortable. It's worried about what might happen. We get this feeling a bunch and it is normal to get it. I'm not trying to tell you it's weird and it's odd and it's dangerous to feel it. It's a normal feeling. What I'm trying to say is we should listen to it and try to analyze it before instantly linking it to positive vibes. That's it. If you want to read a little bit more about what I'm talking about, I am going to link a couple of articles in the bottom. Feel free to go check those out. There's a relationship in your body that a lot of you are aware of and a lot of you are clueless about. This relationship that I'm talking about is the gut and the brain relationship. They're very close. Some researchers call your gastrointestinal, also known as GI tract, your second brain. The gut and the brain have passed the talking stage, okay? They're, they're, they're like this. There's a lot of research that links changes in your microbiota to GI disorders and mental health disorders like depression and anxiety. How do we even get this butterfly effect? What is the biology behind it? The autonomic nervous system, also known as the ANS, is behind all of this. When your brain perceives a situation as potentially threatening to your survival, your body is put in fight or flight response. Your brain increases your awareness and your alertness by increasing your heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing rate. Your nervous uh, you see how nervous I am now? It's same thing. Your nervous system wakes your adrenal gland up and tells it, yo, send adrenaline and cortisol throughout the body to try to get away from this threatening situation. Digestion then slows down and this explains nausea. It's amazing. Your body starts to work together. Your blood starts to get pulled away from places that it's not needed, like your stomach, and it gets sent to places that it might be needed at, like your muscles, to get away from said threatening situation. The smooth muscles in your stomach are very sensitive at this point so the blood being pulled away that whole sensation is what we refer to as butterflies i know what you're thinking what is so scary about a guy flirting with you we've been together for said five years why do i get this butterfly feeling it's anxiety who doesn't get stressed every once in a while it's a sign of attraction yes i understand that but if you take a step back and you look at the person that you're talking to and you realize that there's a pattern where at times where you're supposed to feel content and like you can depend on them, you're feeling nervous and anxiety, then it's important to make sure that you're not spending too much time in your feels and potentially ignoring some major red flags. A strong and healthy relationship is what we should all be after. Healthy relationships do not usually feel coyote, ca coyote, coyote, why can't I say that word? Chaotic, chaotic. You're supposed to feel safe and calm. I know movies and romantic novels don't portray it as such, but in a way, a relationship is supposed to be normal. It's supposed to make you feel content and you can be yourself around this person without feeling nervous. Like you should be vibing, you know? Spontaneity is exciting. Yes, maybe when you're a teenager, you rush to go towards that spontaneity, but feeling confident in the person that you're talking to, that is where it's at to not feel anxiety. Listen, I'm not telling you to run for the hills shit like no you could be running away from something super important but everything deserves to be put in context and if you don't know a lot about this person and you're getting butterflies and the first thing that comes to mind is this must be great no stop yourself and think 
your body could be warning you that it's noticing a couple of negative traits that you've dealt with in the past. Mm. Your brain doesn't want to deal with that again. But for some people, when that butterfly feeling goes away, which it always does, they think that they should get out of that relationship because what they're feeling is gone and the passion is not there anymore. When really, you could be moving into a new stage in your relationship that is much better. I know, I know, we all know that 2% of couples who have been together for 12 years and are still head over heels and she still gets butterflies when she thinks about him and when he messages her he, she's just like red i get it but that's two percent i'm making up the two percent number reality is butterflies die out so you need to know if you're in something comfortable think about it it's nervousness why are you feeling this nervous all this time a wise buddhist once said that if you meet someone and your heart pounds your hands shake and your knees start to go weak that's not the one he said when you meet your mate for life you feel calm no anxiety or agitation Agitation. Listen, movies, they're not your life. Romance novels, they were written. They were literally made up. All I want for you is the next time you feel these butterflies, I want you to take a step back and put these nice feelings that you're associating this person that you might not know anything about to the side. Take a deep breath. Look at this actual human being who's standing in front of you and assess the situation. If 2020 and 2021 have done anything, they've taught us to listen to ourselves and listen to our bodies. So on that note, it is up to you to decipher what your body's trying to tell you and what butterflies mean in this situation for you. It takes trial and error, but I wish you all the luck. If you've gotten this far, please hit the like button. Happy Valentine's Day and thank you for watching. See you next Sunday.